Welcome to the Booze Buddy Update. For you Booze Buddies today, I have 21 plus dessert, grapefruit growth, and enticing reds. Now hit that like button, subscribe, and let's crack this open. 21 plus desserts are now in several states, and the latest launch is in Chicago. Proof Alcohol Ice Cream is bringing its 7% ABV frozen goodness to Chicago. Right in time for winter. Have you indulged with an ice cream that has an ABV? My only experience was a family recipe we called claret sauce that was fermented with wine, sugar, and fruit. I definitely didn't have uh, this kind of an ABV to it, but probably it was still a little illegal. Well, this isn't as long as you're of legal drinking age. Proof is sold online and in 700 and growing retail stores across six states and online. The company, headquartered in Columbia, South Carolina, plans to continue rolling out to new stores and areas to expand access throughout 2023. The five flavors, bourbon caramel, mocha chocolate moonshine, cheesecake moonshine, strawberry moonshine, and coconut rum sound delicious. And they've developed proprietary production techniques to make sure the tamper-resistant ice cream is consistently good and ready to eat. Get more at the link. A juicy DIPA is headed to nine states. Let well, me be more specific. Lawson's Finest Ruby Red Grapefruit is now headed out across their nine states. Have you had this beer before? If not, you're in for a treat. And shocker, I strongly dislike actual grapefruit. I've talked about this beer before because it's that darn good. It's layering of flavors, tartness, hoppiness gives it a great juice bomb flavor that can't be replicated by hops alone but has the backbone of fresh hops to back up that juiciness. And that's not by accident. According to Lawson's Finest, they say, fun fact, we use three different types of grapefruit addition. In the kettle, dried peel is added to give the beer some zest. During fermentation, grapefruit puree is added, which consists of juice and pulp. In the bright tank, the fresh grapefruit peel is added in mesh bags where it will stay for 24 hours to give the beer that final zing and the special aroma. To learn more about how and where to get this fan favorite for several years now, head to the link. The third story after this, the Booze Buddy Update, is brought to you by Green Mountain Payments, helping local business owners save thousands of dollars by providing complimentary credit card processing equipment and zero-cost credit card processing. Visit GreenMountainPayments.com or POSN0.com today. Enticing Reds are here on a list of wines rated from 91 to 96. Are you a red wine lover? If so, what's your favorite blend? One I've always liked, even though I think it's rated at the upper 80s, is Adobe Red by Clayhouse, which I usually pick up for about 15 bucks. I've yet to have a bad bottle, and it stands up to hearty foods. However, I'm willing to set that aside and dip into this list next time I need a good red blend. I will let you know that some on this list do go over my normal price points, but I'm here for you, and you might still want to splurge. Still, some are in the roughly $30 price range, like the Anna Beirut 2018 Grand Reserve, Mount Lebanon Red, uh, let's see, Fresco Valdi 2019 Tenuta Pirano, and 2019 Mass Igneous. As always, I'm not prescriptive with wine, and your local bottle shop may or may not carry these, but it's worth having a conversation with them to see what's similar, what you might like, and what's in your budget. Click the link for more. Remember to stay safe, drive sober, and support the booze that supports your local community. Have a comment, question, or a story suggestion? Reach out to me at boozebuddyupdate.com.